It's July of 2019. Fifty years ago this week, mankind embarked upon a journey that literally took us from the earth to the heavens. I want to talk about how everyone can relive or experience for the first time this amazing adventure. So stick around. During the third week of July in 1969, three brave souls climbed atop a rocket ship to begin a journey to the moon. Many in this community will defend that that actually happened, while conspiracy theorists and people that don't believe in real science will deny it as a hoax. Well, today, I'm going to show you how that you can experience this entire journey for yourself, and I believe that this is just a little bit of evidence that you can't refute. While the telemetry data for the journeys may have been lost, or the original footsteps that were rebroadcast and recorded from a screen onto a camera were also lost, what isn't gone to the dustbin of history are the audio transcripts from the entire mission. Now, while most of us might believe this is just the communication between the ground and the astronauts, it's not. There are many different workstations inside Mission Control that are communicating between each other, between others on the staff, to ensure for the safety of the astronauts and the success of their continuing mission. All of that audio is still available. And it's available for every one of us to review in real time as the missions occurred. I invite you all to join me at the website apolloinrealtime.org forward slash 11. This website has collated all the data that has been provided by NASA and all of the audio to literally recreate second by second the entirety of the Apollo 11 journey from one minute before liftoff until they touch down in the ocean. So let's take a look at what this amazing website actually has to offer and start with T minus one minute. Up to the ignition sequence at 8.9 seconds. We're we'll approaching the 62nd mark. Uh, ADR and LMP panel six and nine. Seconds and count. Seconds and count. Yeah, I'm going off. Yeah. And my bad guy. Going off here has been a nice smooth countdown. Uh, thank you, babe. LMP GHS uh, increase it a little bit. All the second stage tanks now pressurized. 35 seconds and counting. We are still go with Apollo 11. 30 seconds and counting. MC it feels good. Like astronauts report, it feels good. T minus 25 seconds. 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence starts. Six, five, four, three, six, two, one, zero. Lift off. 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 Lift Three, four miles now. 
velocity of 2,195 feet per second. All right, I'll fly it out of here. Looking good, play. GMC. Dark model. Pressure red line. Eight pounds. Seven dead line. Yeah, they don't make a difference. No good. Okay, let's punch them in. Everything is go, Ralph. We're through the region of maximum dynamic pressure now. First to fly, how are you? Yeah, we're going to fly. Sergeant. We're going to fly. We're 1350 in the start bottom. Set eight miles downrange, 12 miles high. Velocity, 4,000 feet per second. Stand by for mode one, Charlie. Stand by for mode one, Charlie. Mark, mark, mode one, Charlie. Taking stand by, Charlie. Go. Right on, go, Daddy, go. Charles, we're taking the staging status. Oh, well, this is Houston. You are go for staging. Inboard cutoff. Inboard engines. Confirm inboard cutoff. Confirm inboard. Daddy. Downrange 35 miles, 30 miles high, standing by for the outboard engine cut down now. We're going to fly, Roger. Staging. And ignition. Cut off, ignition. Roger. Trajectory verified. Thrusters go all engines. Looks good. 11 Houston, thrusters go all engines. You're looking good. All right, Roger. Here, loud and clear. Obviously the video and the audio has been curated for this experience. This is a mix of different video feeds and different audio feeds from around the Mission Control Center as well as commentary for the experience of liftoff. Now, where this website becomes amazing and to me provides proof that everything really happened is when you click the button to sync to today's clock. Every one of these indicators in the middle of the screen is a different group of people communicating in mission control. Only one of them actually communicates with the astronauts, and that would be the Capcom. But all the audio from every one of these stations is available and is here. Follow control. The view that we have of the Earth disk at this time, as near as we can tell, the North Regardless of the time of day, someone is talking at mission control, even if they're not talking to the astronauts. These are real people that work for NASA that are specialized in their field. And every one of them has gone through extensive training to perfect their skills so that on this day, they can help NASA accomplish the mission of getting to the moon and keeping the astronauts safe. Every one of these people had a mission. And on that day, they fulfilled it. So, despite what Jaron and Bob and other people in the Flat Earth community might say, that this is just random people or fake information on a screen. I'd like them to try and explain what this person, right here, this person, what is he talking about? Who is he talking to? Where is he getting his information from? And where in that chain of people and information can you find something that is fake? Something that someone else had to create for this person to react according to their mission. There is so much data. There is so much information. There is so much going on second by second for the Apollo 11 mission and every Apollo mission since and all of the shuttle missions that you can't explain what this person is doing. Huntsville Com Control. All right, Com Control. Uh, this is the Huntsville Com Control. We're noticing on the uh, PAO line on 58366 that we have some astronaut uh, uh, conversation going on, which apparently. 
what information are they reacting to based upon their screen and what other people are telling them, and who falsified that information to cause them to react. For that to be the reality would require a conspiracy involving so many people that it could not be hidden. When a conspiracy reaches more than half the population of the earth to achieve the conspiracy, it's no longer a conspiracy. It's public knowledge. And that is what would be required for a conspiracy to this level. What you're seeing right now with the lit up on the screen to indicate who is talking, every one of these tracks was recording constantly. So you can click on it and actually listen to their silence. Or many of them, you can click on and hear the random noise in the background that is not communication, but is just everyday chatter. Every minute of the entire journey is documented and recorded, and anybody can access it. I'd like someone to try and explain how this isn't real. How these weren't people looking at real data of people in space on their way to the moon. So I invite everyone, please visit this website. Take the time this week and reflect upon what happened 50 years ago, not just today, but this very second. And enjoy this journey together. Because many of us, like myself, weren't around when this happened. Hopefully someday we'll be there when humans return to the moon and other celestial objects. But until then, this is the best we've got. It's real. And we can experience it together. Thirty feet, two and a half down. Great shadow. 
Four forward. Four forward. Drift into the right a little. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. APA had a decent, how to decamp, auto, auto control, both auto, decent engine command override off, engine arm off, port 13 is in. We copy you down, Eagle. T1, stand by, T1. And quality base here, the Eagle has landed. 